All right, so my Spotify is pulled up. Quorum Tap playlist. Play on the Echo. All right, let's start with our normal warm up. So this is going to be um, toe taps, four slow, three, four, eight fast. <laughs> so cute. And then we do that all the way around. Then we have the two fast, three extra fast. Bum, 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 bum. Repeat four times. Yada, yada. And then we go into the usual rudiments, eights, fours, twos, ones. Um, toe heel walks, yada, yada, heel toe walks. And then double rudiments, jumps, and yeah, you got it. Like this. 
pretty sure I just did the twos only one time through somehow and I missed the ones. Not sure what I did there. Anyways, we made through it. You're warmed up. Hopefully. You scratching? You scratching? Yes. Cindy had her vet appointment yesterday. And, oh, sorry. She got your nose. And she's all healthy and all of her tests came back normal. So she's very happy that it's her gotcha day and she's healthy. All right. Yes. She may have had a bee sting on her lip, but the vet gave us a little medicine for that and the swelling has already gone down. Right? Yes. And she got a toenail trim too. It's been a very exciting couple of days for Cindy. And her birthday's on Sunday. It's a great part of the year. Okay, let's go ahead and do our laps and shuffles warm up. You all know how this one goes, because it's a very standard warm up. Just to get us warm, putting my hair back, because this is a lot of hair. Okay. Oh, yes. Here we go. Full laps. Four to the front. Let's tell the world all we'll the that. things we've done. You. Falling in love in the setting sun. And I got you on this house so bright. I'll make you wish you were here tonight. To the back. All right. Now that you can see me. Under. just a little bit like no mom I'm too cute I would never be naughty but you saw that you saw it now she's just sitting like take a treat do I get a treat I'm sitting you munchkin little rascal all right paradiddle seven and a stomp one two three four five six seven stomp then do it with your left three three one 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 then we switch to shuffle toe heel Yada yada, we go back for reverse paradiddles, and then we go back for shuffle heel ball, right and left through the whole pattern, uses most of our song. I did try to find us another song for this because I do recognize that Facebook mutes this song a lot um, in most of my videos, but the songs that I listened to weren't long enough to get through the entire set, so I either need to pick a different combo for us or keep looking for music. So I'm on it, but honestly, hopefully we'll be back in the studio in like... 11 days or so, so I'm not 
I'm not too invested in finding a song, but if I happen across one, we'll use it. All right, here we go. Nice relaxed ankles, so don't start right away. She's currently playing full pot with Penguin. She's going to just pot the floor. When you come back home and all the lights are out And you can get used to no six, one else being around Five, six, right foot starts white fluff and little black bits of penguin. Oh, I bought her a stuffed llama a while ago and I intended it for like either her gotcha day present or her birthday present. And I want to know, maybe I should give it to her today or I'll wait until Sunday for her birthday because she got a cake today. Cake today, llama on Sunday. Okay, we're all set. I know I spoil my dog, but I mean, I'm in quarantine. I don't get to really go anywhere because neither of my jobs are actually in person right now. So I spend all day at home with my dog and she's kind of like my daughter since I don't have any kids. So she's, she's really spoiled, like really spoiled. We just like snuggle and she just like puts her head here and just snuggle. Okay, so let's get into that head's combo now that you all think I'm crazy because I literally love my dog so much. All right. And if you didn't know, I also love my dog back home, my sister, Belle. She's my mom's dog now. She was my dog, but I moved out, so I will give it that she's my mom's dog now, but Belle is my sister. If you didn't notice, I love Disney princesses, so Belle is named after Belle, and Cindy is named after Cinderella, so we got a Disney princess theme going on here, and Belle is a 13-year-old golden retriever now. She's one of like the deep red colors. Oh, she's beautiful. So... We got Cindy and Belle matching hedgehog uh, stuffies, and they're big hedgehogs, and their names are Frederick and Frederick too, because of course we named the stuffies too. I'm a crazy dog mom, what can I say? All right, tonight's combo is to take me or leave me from the musical Rent. Love it, love it, love it. 
Um, scrolling, where did it go? Did I move? I did not move it up in the playlist. I left it in its original home. Do, do, do. I'm gonna find it. I really am. Maybe I'm not. I just swear it's here. I was literally playing it. There it is. I played it to choreograph. We're gonna hold the first four eight counts. Four, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. We come in here. Every single day, I walk down the street. Oh, so good. So we're going to start with a step heel on one, two. Uh, from there, you're going to go spank dig heel. So it's going to go one, two, and a three. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and a three. Shuffle, ball change. Preferably only on the ball of your foot, so it's a little lighter on that. Uh, shuffle, step, tip heel, step, spank, ball change. That's a step, heel, spank, da 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 One, two, and a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. You should end on one, in theory. One, two, and a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Slight pause. So you're going step, heel, spank, ball, toe, heel, shuffle, ball, change, shuffle, step, tip, heel, step, spank, ball, change. That change has to be on one. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. David Thompson is very excited. Hello. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, heel, swing, toe, heel, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, step, tip, heel, step, swing, ball change. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. From there, you're not done. So we're gonna finish out the second eight count on this same side before we repeat to the left. You are going to go riff and a two, spank toe heel and a three, step on four. All right, so we're landing here. One, two, three, dent. I can like feel it through my tap shoes so you know it's really big. So again we're going toe, heel, spank, toe, heel, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, step, tip, heel, step, spank, ball change, and a rip, spank, toe, heel, step. From there you're gonna have two heels on five, six with a little drag of your foot. Wherever you want to drag is totally fine. It's only five, six. So I don't know that you have time for like, you don't have, like, I, I know you don't have time for a very slow drag, uh, but just a step, step, or heel, heel. C cramp roll starting with your right foot, seven and a eight, leaving that left foot up. Catch to left on a U. Oh! Yeah, that's definitely not a step there. Okay. There's an extra thing in here that I didn't tell you that is totally not necessary. I don't know what foot I thought I was on, but I'm not on that foot. So let's go through this entire chunk. We're going toe, heel, spank, toe, heel, shuffle, ball change, shuffle, step, tip, heel, step, spank, ball change, and a wrist, spank, toe, heel, step, heel, heel. Kind of. Five, I'll do it with counts this time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, and a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again with appropriate counts. Five, six, 
seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Something is off, and I kept, I kept going back and forth between shuffle, step, tip, heel, step, tip, ball, change, and shuffle, hop, step, tip, heel, step, tip, ball, change. And I don't think there's room for that hop, which is why I didn't teach it. But I feel like I'm ending early, so I think I just need to get my rhythm in my head. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That felt better. There is that slight pause. Step, tip, step, tip, don't change. It's in there. The pause is in there. There's not room. There's not a count for the hop. Two more times. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have not attempted it reversed on the left because, you know, I just counted the music and was like, good, it's done. So we're going to try just the right with the music so you can hear the beat, and then we'll break down the left. A lot for me. It's about that tempo, so I didn't teach it to uh, sped up or slow down. missed something. Let's try that again. Move my computer. I'm ready. This is not. It's that right after the step. I knew it was going to get me. Five, six, seven, eight. I get where I'm off. So I am doing, I'm trying to just spank it back. Um, so after you step on one, you have to go riff, toe, heel, heel, spank, toe, heel, and put your weight on that right foot so that you can step very loudly and aggressively on four. Not so aggressively, I just put my foot down really forcefully. So coming out of shuffle, step, tip, heel, step, spank, ball, change, and a riff, spank, toe, heel, step. Heel, heel, cramp, roll. Five, same part. Seven, eight, we're going shuffle, step, tip, heel, step, same fall, change, and the wrist, thing to heel, step, round. Again, from the beginning, I'm gonna get it. I promise. Here we go. Five. teaching you. I just wanted to see if I could reverse it. And it was close. It was kind of close. So after your C cramp roll, making sure that it is a C, because you need that left foot free, you're going toe, heel, spank, toe, heel. So one, two, three. Shuffle, ball change. Shuffle, step. Tip. Heel, step, spank, ball change. Riff, spank, toe, heel. Step, around, C cramp roll left. Again on the left. Five, six, seven, eight. Toe, heel, spank, toe, heel. Shuffle, ball change. Shuffle, step, tip. Heel, step, tip, ball change. And a wrist, spank, toe, heel. Step, heel, heel, cramp roll. Five, six, seven, eight. Toe, heel, spank, toe, heel. Shuffle, ball change. Shuffle, step, tip. Heel, step, tip, ball change. And a wrist, spank, toe, heel. Step, round, cramp roll. It was close in rhythm. I tried. All right. Any questions, pop them in the comments. Otherwise, I'm going to put parts right and left together. It does get, the first step is the hardest. It gets, 
except for the rhythm turn, it gets easier from here. I've learned to put the hard stuff up front so I can spend time on it, and then when I look at the clock and I'm like, shoot, we're so far behind, then it's like, oh, but wait, here we go. We're fine, totally fine. All right, right and left. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. I did it! I'm never gonna do it again. We all know how class with Kara goes. Again, one more time with counts and then with the music. Five, six, a five, six, seven, eight. Toe, heel, swing, toe, heel. Six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I lost track of my counts in the middle and I tried to say them and it didn't work and it's fine. It's totally fine. It's Friday night. I hope you all had a wonderful week. Friday! Friday! All right, here we go. Don't forget to hydrate. measure in case like you think you're doing good but you just want it more times. I, I'm definitely more of a like just let me repeat it several times so that's kind of what I do in my classes or try to. Don't fall off your board! that we all know I tend to start my steps on one and we end them by eight we start the next eight count fresh and having the spank ball change end on one is kind of throwing me off because I don't normally choreograph like that but I did today so that's always new. I will 100% say though that this combo will be coming back when we are in class because I want a full group video of everybody doing this with me so um it may come back in a different variation, we all know I change stuff up, but it's coming back at some point in the next couple of months, so heads up. Last time through and then I'll add on. to learn tonight. So that's chunk one, actually. So it's not a super long combo, which is why I said when we learn it in person, it might morph into something way bigger. I'm thinking like Showcase 2021. Just, just putting that out there. <laughs> I never stop, do I? Never. Never. Never stop playing. Okay, so we're gonna go full lap ball change to the right, because you should have your right foot free because we ended with a left C cramp roll. So you have full ball change, keeping your weight back. Don't put your weight on that front foot. Spank step, spank step. Shuffle, hop step. Don't 
Keep yourself in the middle of your board because you're going to do that to the left again. So don't let that shuffle hop step go. It is only six counts. We're going to syncopate a little bit here. So we're going a one, two, three, four, five, six. So do it to the left. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Okay? So you kind of have three steps that you do right and left. It takes an eight count and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you have two C cramp rolls. Five, six, seven, eight. You could add a spank in there on the second one. Um, I typically tend to do a spank into my C cramp rolls. Uh, so that would be on the pickup. So your cramp rolls are going five, six, seven, eight. So you would go a five, six, a seven, eight if you want to add that spank. I feel like the spank is going to be really awkward on the first one because you just came out of a shuffle hop step, so your right foot is not in a good spot for a spank, so I'm probably going to go with five, six, plus seven, eight. That's probably where I'm going to end up. So again, one more time, this is just two eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your right foot should be free at the end. Let's hear that with the music. Ever since puberty, everybody stares at me, boys, girls, I can't help it. Five, six, seven, eight. So right. Awesome sauce. So let's run the entire thing because again that first step is the hardest and I don't want to lose it uh, from the beginning. messing you up. One, two, and a three, four, five, six, seven, a eight, one. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. There is no heel between the shuffle step. You just have to shuffle step, right, left foot, Kara, just do it. Just do the shuffle step. Okay, there's my pep talk for my foot. Let's do it one more time from the beginning. For my left foot. Actually, it's more like my right foot that's trying to do the heel, so I'm going to blame the right foot. Uh oh, here's Cindy. Not a thing. Don't do the thing. Okay, so let's learn the last chunk. And yeah. Um, cool. So you should have your right foot free. I actually, that's why these are C cramp rolls and not regular cramp rolls, is to get your right foot free. Look, I planned that. You're going to go scuff, spank, toe heel, toe heel. Not a cramp roll, a toe heel, toe heel. And they're fast. Nice bent knees. But don't rush them so that it's 
So it's the rhythm of the cram roll on the triplet. One, two, three, and now four. Da, 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 da. Spank with your right foot, three heel shuffles. Step, okay? This isn't, I never said this was a crazy hard dance. That first step was hard enough and the fact that I keep messing it up. <sighs> Frustrating. Anywho, stuff, spank, toe heel, toe heel, spank, heel shuffle, heel shuffle, heel shuffle, heel shuffle, spank. Do it on your other foot. Do it on the right foot again. This is the three and a break. Scuff, spank, toe heel, toe heel, spank, heel shuffle, heel shuffle, heel shuffle, 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 shuffle. Okay? Um, let's try just that. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Nice relaxed shuffles on that. They're not crazy fast, um, but they're fast enough that you're not really going to get your best quality of sound if you have a tense ankle. So shake out those ankles. Nice loosey goosey ankles. <sighs> okay. Your break is not just a single eight count. Um, I think this is a five eight count chunk. No, maybe it's a six eight count chunk. And so you've got a three eight count break going on here. You're going to do, you just stepped on your right foot because we did the right foot last. Two back essences. Then you're gonna do one of those really cool, funky under rhythm turns that I've kind of been digging, but I wish my board were bigger on. Spank heel, step heel, heel ball, ball. And you have one extra beat at the end. I choreographed a chug, but I also wrote a clap as an option if you felt that would be better for you. Um, don't fall off your board because then we reverse that to the left. So you're going spank back, side front, spank back, side front, spank heel, step heel, heel ball, ball chug. To the left, your left foot is already behind you. Spank heel, step heel, heel ball, ball chug. Okay? When in doubt, I'm ending up kind of moving forward off of my board on that, so try and start yourself a little further back. Even though you're doing back essences and those feet are behind you, as you do that rhythm turn, you're gonna, at least in my head and in practice, I'm moving forward. Maybe you're doing something completely different. This is why I can't wait to see you all in class again and actually see what you're doing and, I don't know, see your faces, whether it makes sense or whether I'm over explaining. I don't know. I can't wait. I miss you all so much. Okay, so we're going the back essence part. Right foot goes first because, sorry, left foot comes back first. Ooh, I mixed up my lefts and rights when I was talking to you earlier. Ignore what I said earlier about lefts and rights. I'll say the right ones now. So we finish. Scuff, spank, toe heel, toe heel, spank, heel shuffle, heel shuffle, heel shuffle, heel shuffle, step. That's a step on your right foot. Your left foot comes back first for the back essence. Left foot crosses back for the first rhythm turn. Your right foot is back, and your right foot starts the second side of the back essences. Okay? That, those are the correct directional terms. I promise, it's just Friday. I totally got this. And then, as you come out of that, uh, you're gonna have two tack annies to finish off your eight count. Um, oh, I remember what it is. There's a four count break as you come out of this. So there's two eight counts, but you finish, um, that part is three eight counts, then there's only four counts, and then we go in. So either way, this is what it is. It fits perfectly with the music. So let's try this. Oh, question. I got this. I'm, oh, oh, what foot do I have my weight on at the end? I'm confused on the rhythm turn direction. Which shoulder? Yes. So these are like backwards rhythm turns. So you're going for the first one. Cross your left foot behind. And you're turning over your left shoulder. Um, heel, ball, ball, chug. All right. So if you cross the left foot behind, uh, you're going to turn over that left shoulder on the first one. And then the second one will start uh, with your right foot in the back essence. 
and the rhythm turn goes spank heel step and then heel heel ball ball turning over the right shoulder let's just walk that again hopefully that made sense sorry i didn't see your comments popping up right away megan so sorry break so uh stuff heel go, 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 heel spank heel shuffle heel shuffle heel shuffle step so we start with our left foot going back left foot back for the rhythm turn and then let turn over your left shoulder that's the wrong rhythm because i'm on the wrong part of my swing either way then we go right foot back right foot crosses back turn over your right shoulder that was the correct rhythm hopefully that helps okay let's try this entire chunk together from the scuff spank toe heel toe heel five Six, five, six, seven, eight. Stop, spin. tack annies on the end. I'm just gonna tack those on there, see what I did with that. I am like a master of puns lately. It's so bad. Someone needs to like get me a friend to hang out with besides my dog. Okay, one more time on that. Five, six, a five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, Um, or do it with me, whichever your preference is, but I'll give it a shot with the music. And cross my fingers that I choreographed this correctly and know where that four count break is. and then we go into tiger in a cage and then the head will be part two that we learn when we're back in the studio all right let's try that last chunk one more time and then we're going to put the whole gosh darn thing together essences in at the end if you want two of those. Um, I'm not completing my rotation on that rhythm turn, so I'm going to stick with tack annies. They give me a little more flexibility to not fall over and make a fool of myself. Hi, Anita. Thank you. It is Joanne and Maureen that sing the song together in the musical rent. I knew Anita would know the answer in the last video um, on Wednesday when I mentioned the song because Anita knows all things Broadway musical related. So if I have questions, I go to Anita. All right, let's take it from the beginning. Um, we're not gonna walk it because we know I'll just mix up my feet. So we're just gonna try it and see what we get. Uh, first part. Yada yada, right and left. And then part two, flat, up, change. Shuffle, hop, step, flat, change. Shuffle, hop, step, seat cramp, seat cramp, scuff, spank, toe heel, toe heel. Hopefully that made sense.
all the steps in order. I am astonished right now, but we're going to keep running it for a couple more minutes. We might end a few minutes early today, which is a nice change of pace considering I've run like half an hour over before in my classes. So, all right, here we go again. middle of the week um, but my week definitely turned around uh, my postdoc PI so those of you who have talked to this about um, I'm graduating in August hopefully you know in the midst of a pandemic finishing my research graduating with a PhD starting a new job but um, OSU is currently on a hiring freeze and so it was really unclear whether I'm gonna be able to transition over to my new job do I graduate if I graduate and I can't get the new job then what do I do um, but I talked to the postdoc PI, uh, primary investigator, she'd be my mentor, and there's a fellowship that I can apply for, which would definitely guarantee me like funding and a stipend in my new job. So I'm applying for that, and fingers crossed, um, I, that would also be like an amazing thing to add to my resume as well. So kind of turned around towards the end of the week, you know, fellowship applications are always hard, but when you get them, it's really awesome. Okay, so let's do it like three more times. Also, this means I'm still graduating in August and not waiting until December. Woo! I'm so ready to be done with grad school. rhythm turn so I was off by half a beat um, in the second round. Here we go. Two more times. Breathe. Remember to breathe. Breathing's good.
It was so close. I cramp rolled and I was supposed to go toe heel, toe heel. See, I think of these things where I'm like, I had them do a lot of cramp rolls. You know what would be really hard? To go toe heel, toe heel after doing cramp rolls. And then do you know what it does? It tricks me. And I know what the trick is, but it still tricks me. Here we go. Last time through, again, video will be posted on Facebook and YouTube when I get around to editing my videos. Um, and then hopefully uh, Jessica does have plans to continue live streaming classes in some sort of fashion. We're not sure what this looks like. We're not sure how it happens. But as we do transition back into the studio, um, we do want ways for people who maybe aren't comfortable coming back to the studio right away. Um, maybe you're a higher risk group or something and you still want to take class. Um, so we're hoping to find some way to make sure that we can still reach you. And then also, because of our YouTube channel, we have established um, a lot of people taking the classes from outside the state of Ohio. And so, you know, they're really enjoying the classes. We'd like to keep um, offering some classes to them as well. And then hopefully if they come visit us, they can actually come take class in person, which would be fantastic. So all things on the table, all things are options, lots of things in the works. And yeah, it'll be good to get back. I'm excited. Here we go. Last time through. Don't stop working on me now. Okay. sweat on a Friday night. Thank you so much for dancing with me. Thank you, Megan. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yes, the rhythms are kind of hard, and so I've kind of just been trying to play around with different things that maybe, like, aren't super fast, but have, like, a tricky rhythm or something in them. Um, yeah, and I don't know what my obsession is with these under rhythm turns right now, but I'm really into them, and I do understand that they are very tricky. Um, because also you're not quite sure where the first step of the rhythm turn is in them because you're going spank, spank heel, step, and then the heel is the first part of the rhythm turn. So they're kind of, they're interesting. Um, so I'm really into them. Okay, uh, bye everyone. Thank you for dancing with me and I will see you back here on Monday for beginner tap. Don't forget intermediate tap with Janelle is tomorrow afternoon at one o'clock. So check out her class and have fun. Bye.